back to our ongoing Office 365 series. So uh, this is the shared mailbox. We're gonna create, try to create one. So basically, uh, if you like send us, um, if you have a book online, anything, or you know you send us a request to help you, you get a message always from one email address. And imagine like thousands, some, some sites have thousands of users, some have tens of thousands of users, but some have millions of users like Microsoft or uh, Google, Yahoo, bigger sites. They, everybody, how many people, like one people, one person cannot uh, possibly manage uh, that uh, mail volume. So it has to be a, a, a team. So doesn't matter who is replying, you always get the email from sport at gmail.com, sport at microsoft.com. You don't see James who works at uh, Microsoft or Jill or Jane from uh, Google, right? So this is, we see that sport at ihma.org. So basically you get a, one email that's shared and everybody has access to it, but nobody has its password. It's not, it's, that's why it's shared. They cannot see the password. Uh, no, not the uh, same. There's no password actually. So it's not like it's uh, you set up a regular and give access to everybody and they are logging in. No, they have access to that mailbox. So let's see how it's done. Now it's giving you option. Help me choose distribution list. Or I'm gonna go with this one. Create a shared mail address or an additional email address for one person. And again there is nothing in here let's go to internet explorer portal maybe some feature only work in a, uh, i want to say edge but that would not be true see okay this is funny oh uh, it's it was taking just taking time a little bit of time but so internet explorer and firefox has it so there is a latency issue that it is slow to respond let's go with, get with that so it's giving you a little bit option create a shared ma shared mail address where one or more people can receive email and reply as that person you see if i oh shouldn't have done that Let me go back is it a way back let's exit out of it click again so if you can see as that email address so you see the form field under from it will be that sport address rather than that person's own email address and so this is the shared mailbox this is an additional add an additional email address to an existing user they'll still arrive with their primary email this is called an alias so you see so this is alias like this is her primary email address we created another one that's her alias this doesn't matter where she's where from she's replying it will always be replied as from her primary email address that's alias but we don't want that we want the shared mailbox we're gonna go click on that let's make a shared mailbox I'm gonna give it name sport email address sport we have two options I am like the generic address that Microsoft gives you for or your um, domain name I'm gonna go with this one it says creating your shared mailbox let's click here and something went wrong we should so not create the shared more track in a few minutes keep happening please contact sport I'm gonna contact sport and are we in Internet Explorer we are so I'm gonna pause the video here all right so I'm back um, if something like it was the latency issue or something I'm gonna close it out let's try it one more time I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna sign out. So with Office 365, everything is web-based. It's always a good idea. I learn that sign out and then resign back rather than to refresh. Close your window, browser, whatever. Uh, cancel, wait for it. And now close all. Word. Grips and shared mailboxes. If it's going to give me error again, probably I have to go to. Um, exchange online and create the box this over there again so hmm oh basically it's saying that ah okay 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 that <laughs> it was right in front of me it's saying that it's already being used by the per by the proxy address or legacy exchange dom uh, domain name of sport so maybe we created a sport thing uh, I think we did uh, there was a sport we created a sport group and so sport at ihami.org must be must be being used there let's see groups where did we see that groups so sport right there that's why so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a shared mail box we are gonna create help let's create help and it's right so who will have access I'm gonna give Ollie <laughs> like always I'm gonna give Aslan because uh and I'm gonna give probably Bill and Imran all right so let's give them access these are the people I'm gonna click next so now these people can send and receive emails from that group uh, from that uh, address so welcome members it's editing members select all welcome members so now each one of them gonna receive an email telling them what they have been added to the shared mailbox and how to use it we, <coughs> next you are done groups shared mailboxes pages close and go to the shared mailbox page now it will appear here where is the refresh button right there <laughs> under more okay so you see help is there what we're gonna do is now let's log in so if let's see outlook No, he does not have it. So let's go to Firefox and private window. So I want you to, what I want to do, uh, yeah, let's give Ali, login Ali. Let's uh, select login Aslan in sign out here 
so I do a different browser I can show you and then from my phone I can access Imran what we're gonna do is we're gonna send an email to that mailbox and then all three of them or one of them will reply and I will show you that how that uh, email is being um, pushed out <coughs> so if we go to Ali's inbox that is going to be Ali at give Ali password welcome your admin has microsoft support you see 124 am it just the admin team has added to the following shared mailboxes address stride right. since you are now a member the shared mail will automatically appear in your outlook app so go to outlook and take a look so you can like if you use like uh on my phone i can use the uh, the setting and use this one and add the uh, shared mailbox so what's gonna happen is I let me show you like here from to field oh no not to from so So there's no form button. Let's see, I'm sending an email to accounts, right? So before I send it, this should be a two button. Show from. So now it's going to show from right there. And from, it's this address, like Ali's address. But if I click here, other email address and I can s send it from where is help from these are not mine ah, help at ihme.org so I can send it so you have to actually type in and search it so now if I send an email to my gmail yeah. we're gonna see what that um hey there it's 1 20 yeah so i'm gonna send this message and it should pop up in one of my email um in my email address gmail address and it will be rather than from ali you see it's not going to be from this address it's going to be from this address because that's a shared mailbox so now we're gonna see how they're gonna get the email that is being sent to help her this address so let's go there this is oh i was uploading a file so let's uh, go to gmail come on gmail and i have that email right here so if i can show you here oh and go there it's help it's from help I, I Hamid like it's not from Ali and this is it I'm gonna get got it thanks send I'm gonna reply it it has been sent let's go there and see what happens who is getting it so others Ali has quite a few things now to me so it's to me mention attachment sort 
so to open in to open your uh, shared mailbox like this is everything is yours I thought that maybe it could be added here but it's right here you click over here on this your profile icon or manager or whatever open another mailbox we click here and it's gonna give you an option which one so we're gonna click on help help desk not this one because we have access to it we click on open and it's gonna open that shared mail in uh, mailbox for us and where is that email so okay welcome and broke search schedule at a glance and enjoy it thank you but where is my email the guy replied to me so this one if you can see is no it's still Ali no this one is not Ali's like if I can go to calendar it's not Ali's calendar so what we can do is we can click back here and you see right here it's mail help and mail Ali so we can check the inbox junk nothing there so let's send an email from one of our um, mailboxes here and maybe it's just a uh, temporary uh, latency issue help I Hamid hi when can you update the status of shared email inbox I'm gonna send it and I think it's only a matter of uh, being um, slow or whatever you want to say it like latency issue so I can give it uh, right there when so it received an email and it's right there so basically that email that they replied never got here so why like he heard the email reply oh maybe it got spammed it should be in the we can actually go and see in the quarantine and all that that if it was or not but now like you see it's in there <clears throat> maybe the first email we saw it, it was like too common of a reply and <clears throat> it got caught in exchange online somewhere if you remember from the exchange emails that we had quarantine mail flow and all those rules that we created <clears throat> so let's this is good let's uh, log in with Aslan and if we go to Outlook sign in with Aslan sign in same thing Aslan can send from with from if he has to send he can send it right from his mailbox like uh, from his email address but if he has to reply to an email for example this one he has to go to open another mailbox you're gonna ask him which one and it's not like that he can open anyone's mailbox he can only open the email inboxes that he has access to so help And the email is right there so let's say Aslan is saying working on it now I will I can update you in half an hour right he sends it now this is Aslan you see uh, Aslan Aslan sent this reply So I can update you in half an hour. What's gonna do is if we open this and go and right there, I can update in half an hour. Now he gonna reply, reply, reply. Okay, thanks. Waiting for the waiting for it let's say send 
let's see what we're gonna end up here now this is the shared in inbox view from um, Ali but right there so it got updated right now this time Ali is gonna reply in all right so Ali gonna say thank you for your patience it looks like it can be done by 5 p.m. today is it okay now if you see now Ali replied let's go back to this one and it should uh, where's the refresh button for the email only not here let's go here and that's thank you for your patience it looks like it can be done by 5 p.m. today is it okay and you're gonna say yes that's fine right send but if now we have to look here <coughs> he sent the email like I so see the email address help dot I have made right this as land sent now when Ali sent it was still sent from help address so that's how shared email inboxes work like doesn't matter whoever is replying for this person like uh, for trial and error it's always from sports so he doesn't know like there may be thousand or uh, like uh, five people looked uh, a reply to him or thousand people uh, over the year over the course of a year or the course of the length of the project he knows only that it's coming from sport so that's how shared inboxes work if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one